Patients who experience sexual violence have experienced an incredible psychological, emotional, spiritual, possibly physical trauma. In order to care for people in a trauma-informed, person-centered way, we need to be highly educated in that. Research shows that a patient who experiences trauma, that first person that they interact with actually impacts their ability to heal from what occurred. The mission of the Center of Excellence for Forensic Nursing at Texas A&M University is to educate nurses to provide specialized care to patients following trauma, to engage in scholarship and research that advances forensic nursing science and practice, and to provide outreach to communities so that they can better care for their community members who have been impacted by violence. The continuing education has exploded with the different types of simulations that we've been able to develop through funding through the Health Resources Services Administration, or HRSA, and also through contractual arrangements through the Texas Office of the Attorney General and the Texas Office of the Governor on projects. And so it's just been tremendous of what we've been able to accomplish and what we are looking forward to accomplishing. Simulation is really important. It allows the registered nurse to practice their their skills on people who were not impacted by trauma and violence. I have not seen or heard of a facility that's able to provide an environment that is immersive and completely focused on providing quality, knowledge-based, research-based information to our nurses to care for our trauma patients. The way we have it set up here is we are scaffolding the learning. And what we do is have the learners do things like what is a speculum and how to use a speculum and then practice inserting on task trainers, which are mannequins. The standardized patients and our coaches have been phenomenal in helping us, guiding us, giving us feedback that's been really helpful in teaching us the best way to take care of these trauma patients. We got to experience a virtual reality and a escape room based on what we've been learning. I have my CP SANE certification, so I, I was familiar with what to do, but I had never experienced a virtual reality or an escape room uh, type of environment. It's been very fun, very educational. The learners are also going to watch a demonstration. A very experienced forensic nurse is going to do a sexual assault exam on an actor and they're going to do the examination from head to toe. So by the time they're done the entire simulation, they will have four sexual assault examinations under their belt. We also are developing a on-demand webinars and uh, presentations for continuing education for nurses who are already certified or who are already practicing as a forensic nurse, they can come back and get additional education uh, through, through online mechanisms. We have a mock testimony simulation, so we train nurses how to testify. That's not part of normal nursing school. We help them build their curriculum vitae, their CV, so that it is prepared to go to court. We know that the care we provide to people who experience sexual violence has a huge impact on the patient. So nurses come to these courses because they want to do the best job possible. We also have a mission towards promoting forensic nursing research and scholarship. We aim to be the leaders in forensic nursing. We are generating new knowledge, we are validating best practices, and we are helping to translate best practices into care through dissemination. When you move out into the more rural areas of Texas, that's where we find some of our challenges. To bridge the gap in services, I think TextTrack is one of the most important bridges that, we, that we're building right now. Uh, TextTrack is bringing expert forensic nurses through telehealth modalities into these critical access rural hospitals where they can talk and guide clinicians through the sexual assault exam or the domestic violence exam or a strangulation exam. They have an expert right there at their fingertips who is going to help them throughout the entire process.
The telehealth platform has really allowed us to grow and reach far-reaching areas of Texas. Currently, TextTrack is available in seven hospitals in rural Texas. This year, we plan to launch seven more. We are continually looking for places where we can go and put TextTrack live in these communities that uh, show an interest and a need. We're working to expand follow-up care to survivors of sexual assault. There are very few places for people to obtain that type of follow-up care. So two forensic nurses that are also sexual assault nurse examiners are able to provide trauma-informed, patient-centered, evidence-based care to survivors of sexual assault. One of the things that we are implementing very soon is our mobile simulation. So we can take simulation to those nurses in rural areas of Texas where they don't have to travel. They just have to walk right out of the hospital and there is a mobile simulation center right there. The work we do is so important because there's so many vulnerable patients that need high quality care. Our ultimate aim is to ensure that their healing journey is begun in a way that promotes their optimal health outcomes. So after receiving care from a nurse who's received specialized training, we hope that they leave feeling supported, safe, and able to begin their healing journeys.